Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with Michael Anthony Fitness and, and your boy E2 Blue. And you know what? We are headed to Redskins training camp, and of course, we is talking about traffic. Traffic that's as bad as the Washington Redskins. Yeah, we got about two hours. Just trash. It's just trash. Oh. But you are in a five-minute slowdown. You are still on the fastest route. Yeah. Five-minute slowdown. But uh, we're headed for Redskins training camp. I know it seems weird that Dallas Cowboy fans are headed to Redskins training camp. But here's the deal. I went down to Redskins training camp in 2013. Wore my Dallas Cowboy jersey. I got my Power Force shirt on right now. But had my Cowboy Joe Boo jersey. And, of course, Joe Boo, he's back there in the bag, too. Had my foam finger. We got there on the sidelines. I'm laying on the ground getting, like, shots of the field and stuff with Joe Boo in there giving the finger and stuff. And it actually ended up being the paper in the Richmond Times. But what's interesting is we have... RG knee, or, or excuse me, RG3. No, you were right. You were right. RG knee. knee. Nah, I, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> you were absolutely right. He's walking by yeah. and waving, and you know, after that, the next year, he, he didn't he didn't do much like that. You know, we went to Giants training camp in 2013, too, and they have not been that good since then. Um, unfortunately, we photobombed Victor Cruz, and he stopped salsa dancing. So we're going to go down. We're going to meet Ed Oliver. And some of our fans. And um, we're going to, yeah, meet some of our fans and stuff. Uh, I'm going to see Ralph, or Ruff. How do Raph. 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 That's it, Raph. Raph down here, who's a, a promoter and works with C.J. Richardson. And uh, any thoughts from anybody? What's um, your thoughts, E2? Well, one thing you'll notice that we're incognito right now. No Cowboys apparel because, again, um, I'm just not in the mood to fight my way through anything today because I, you know how Redskin fans are, especially, especially those of you that live down in the Richmond area, you already he know. It's, I mean, I, I feel like the Redskin fans are more brutal out in, in Virginia than they are in actual D.C. Um, because it's more Cowboy fans in D.C. than it's Redskins and they're mad about that. But you, right, but you look at Virginia, like the contingency of Redskins fans is just is ridiculous. I, I wore one of my Cowboy shirts to Target the other night, and I got hassled by Redskins fans. And I told them, I was like, I'm sorry. I, that stuff makes my skin itch. Can't do it. <laughs> but uh, we're going to come out here. We're going to infiltrate. We're going to be behind enemy lines, and it's going to be an awesome day. We're, uh, we're, and we're going to come out unscathed. Why? Because we have no Cowboy apparel. Um. Power of four. No, I, I'm putting my jersey. After, after we get into the gate. Why do you I'll have put, my shirt, though? I'll be putting my cowboy Joe Boo 19 jersey yeah, I'll put, I'll put on. That okay? And he's putting on his Rico one. So, people like people uh, so you know, so just be cool. Um, it's going to be interesting because, you know, we're not the only team that has players that are holding out. You know that, right? Oh, every team has a hold up. Well, you got. No, I feel like Melvin Gordon started this whole running back thing. Thank you, Melvin Gordon. Appreciate it. Well, you've got um, the guy from the Saints, Trent Williams, holding out for the Redskins. And the dude from the Saints is going to hold. Oh, if he holds out for the season, I feel sorry well, for you the know, quarterbacks. He, he's he said some things that you know he's burned some bridges. Like basically, they didn't lie to me. Of course, they probably. You know, he had something medically wrong. I don't know if he had one of the infections like um, uh, the running back did, as well as like Alex Smith. But he wants Alex to get did. out of town. He wants out of there, so it may get ugly. I get that, but one thing you should never do is publicly criticize your team and your teammates. Because it's the Redskins. It does, I understand that, but you look at it, 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 it destroys your character. Because, again, when you go to another team, they're going to look at it like, is he going to do the same thing to us? Well, I guess the Raiders didn't learn their lesson from Antonio Brown, but we'll see. Um, when if the Raiders start losing this year, um, they lose the first couple of games, you'll see how lo you're going to see how not loyal Antonio Brown is. So I'm, I'm just I'm just going to sit back and watch that whole thing implode. Now, what, what if uh, the Browns are going to implode with Odo back? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm, 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 I'm going to give the Browns a chance. Mm -hmm. and, and because I've been watching some of the things they have. They're actually like – their team chemistry right now is at an all-time high. Baker Mayfield is loving the fact that Odell is there. Odell Odell's actually finally yeah. loves where he is. He's happy. He's at, at the peace moment. at the moment. Um, he's with his uh, college and high school teammate. Uh, um, I was about to say LeBron Landry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a slowdown ahead. 
I, I'm sorry. To me, that looks like a bomb that's about to detonate. I don't but know. you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Like because when you're when you when you when you're genuinely happy, it makes a difference. You look at our Cowboys. You look at our team chemistry and these guys working together, playing together. They're hanging out outside of football. And you that's what you see with, with the Brown guys and stuff like that, like what they're doing. But um, it's, it's going to be an interesting football season, I'm going to tell you that. Now, as far as our Cowboys, we have, right now we have all the tools that we need to succeed. If we don't, you know Jason Garrett will be up out of here. Right, you know, somebody brought up actually an interesting point last night. Um, but they said, you know, because uh, here's what I was talking about. Because I said, you know, people told me, and Miss Jackie got mad at me too, because I was talking about Alan Hearns. Because oh, I said, Jackie, well, no, because when I was talking about it, I said Alan Hearns to me was going to be expendable because of his cap number. And I said that months ago. And she's like, what do you have against Alan Hearns? You know, he, and I was like, I got nothing against him. But I said, you got to understand that it's a business. You from can't, a business standpoint. You, you, from a business sense. standpoint, you got a guy who was injured and you hate that he was injured, you know, you know, with the team. But in the end, it's a cold hearted snake of a business. And so you look at $5 million right there. Do I have somebody else who can take up the slack from him? Yeah. And for the Cowboys, you know, to some to him say, hey, look, you know, we want you to pay, take a pay cut because you are no better than fourth on the depth chart. Yeah. You know, you know Randall Cobb, you know Amari Cooper, and you know Michael Gallup are definitely going to be ahead of you, and there's no guarantee that he's going to be fourth. So for him to go to Miami, he's definitely going to be able to get a chance to play and resurrect his career to get a contract elsewhere. If he stayed with Dallas and really didn't get that many touches, nobody's necessarily going to sign him the following year. But this is what I don't understand about that whole situation. Now, you look at money-wise. Now, we're all smart. We can count. Um, when you look at what he got paid with Miami, and you look at what the Cowboys Playing were time. trying to cut him for, I, I, get that, I get that part. But what I'm trying to get at is this. Outside of that, what other reason was it for you to leave where you were? Because, again, you had team chemistry with Dak Prescott, and, and, and the team actually gave you the benefit of the doubt. Now, Playing I understand time. that he was trying to bet on himself, um, to see if he could get more money, but you ultimately signed with the Dolphins about the same as what the Cowboys were cutting you to. So, again, and like you said, he will have much more playing time. He won't be the fourth receiver over there. It'll be more like the second. I don't know.